Flights awaits beneficiary under CMHT Health Scheme as medical supplies cut short abruptly over a week ago. Health Minister Jayant Kumar assures doors of the government are wide open when it comes to supplementing health sector of the state. Manipur University community temporarily suspends agitation. University resumes tomorrow. Unidentified individual shot death. President of United Socialist Revolutionary Army, Su Singhekri, outfit under Keno Lamentang this morning. And Manipuri Muslims celebrate Eid ul Adha with religious fervor and gaiety today. Kurumjuri, good evening. You're watching Primetime English News, and I'm Victoria Rajkumari bringing you the latest updates. First up, inadequate supply of medicines have greatly inconvenienced the beneficiary card holders of Chief Minister Gi Hakshal Gi Tengbang, that is CMHT scheme, over a week now. However, relevant authorities continue to remain indifferent to their plights. Impact News reporter Khetri Mayum Premchan and camera person Guru Mayum Bhumeshwar brings you an exclusive report in this regard. Chief Minister Nong Thongbun Biren launched the CMHT scheme with an objective to provide medical insurance up to 2 lakh rupees to underprivileged section of the society. However, lack of adequate medical supply at RIMS since August 14 has brought great plights to CMHT beneficiary card holders who were admitted in the hospital. The abrupt suspension of the medicines since the past eight days have caused immense apprehension among the patients who were halfway through treatment under the scheme. Tangtram mani dege koi daakse hai jibo phangakta na lae. Sa hata ame ne koi daak phangakta mein mandi prime minister ki pege sama loans trapun mera mandi haan ki supplier si mo na matam chudi ngai thamu na supplier lepan gram ni na mo jo supplier pi gram ni na jo koi daak phangakta si ni tere ne chude koi tasi na. Beneficiaries of the scheme currently admitted at RIMS Hospital held a meeting at RIMS Complex today. During the meeting, the CMST scheme card holders resolved to form an association of all CMST beneficiaries in order to implement the scheme effectively. The card holders also urged to the relevant authority to compensate medical expenses incurred during the past one week. Pibidra, bani na ako na suwa na paisa kano mamansa tanga tang blera pani na buka. Ato na dum awa pa si dum teng na. Kada dum mateng pang haning. Ay yun na di hidak si ngasi ka tharaga di hidak si lupalising mga ka something hidak lai lai. Aja ay lising marig ka chatchat ka humbu mga pibida mo aja lai dure. Operation di hoji di tau dawayat re nungi ka oy bani na kini daga lai shalle masi balle kini do. Saya tak leh haram ni nak, kuda tak pasapu bersih leh. Ah, aidi hando pi bapa ame apa? Malam ni kain ada, aidi puri ni apa? Aidi luka habis tu leh, ada ki pasapu yang payah dia buka. When patients' family members approached the medical superintendent of Rims to inquire the matter, they were informed that medicines will be available from the 17th of August. They appealed the chief minister of the state to personally look into the matter at the earliest. Impact news could not drop further as the medical superintendent was on. Holiday on account of it festival. Awak mahu berakhir dah kau nak tang terat terus kita MS kau nai MS kau kita kau kami nai kami nai MS kami sung smart meeting kau kau supplier side am dah kau kau anak pesen parti side kau kau kami nai tu nongan baga hai beti tang terat terus kita ayuk tegi kita aksi doktor nu prescribe tau kita kau dimak pangan gani na kau kita thaja buat kami adu thaja buat kami tu ina kau nasi minister sakit hai buat mana adu di calu no kau ina sida ya na bersil lagi ina tu mana hai biro kau dia kau Mak waris anak ni, anak itu dengan tang teratai, nong amat lagi pilih lagi, nanti mak hari itu ada ngasih bukti, nanti mak lagi kami mendung alat dia pilih lagi. The beneficiaries also urged to authority concerned 
to inform them about the subsidized course of medicine provided under CMIC scheme and the amount to be deducted from the 2 lakh rupees insured by the government. They maintain that there are various loopholes in the scheme despite its various benefits. <laughs> Question arises as to who will be held accountable if anything tragic happens to the patient who are undergoing treatment under the scheme. It is also prudent to give prior information to the patient if the recently launched Ayushman Bharat initiated by the center overlaps with CMIST scheme. With camera person Guru Mayum Bumeshwar Sharma, this is Khetri Mayum Premsan, Impact News, Infal. National Health Mission Manipur and the Directorate of Health and Family Welfare Services inaugurated health and wellness centers each at Komlatabi, Langangjing and Unompad under Ayush Bharat Mission today. Addressing the men inaugural event at Komlathabi, Minister of Health Langpong Lakpam Jayant Kumar assured that the doors of the government are wide open when it comes to supplementing the health sector of the state. He believed that government must cater to the well-being of the people of the state first and foremost. He opined that politicizing in public welfare won't benefit the government as governance is a continuous process. He said the BJP government under Prime Minister Narendra Modi initiated various health schemes and benefits under Ayushman Bharat Mission. The major packages given by this mission include up to 3 lakh rupees financial assistance to officially registered widows, disabled, HIV infected patients and below poverty patients. He asserted government has been launching health and wellness centers in the state to promote better health benefits. Speaking on the occasion, the Minister of Irrigation and Flood Control Department, Lepao Hauke, stated that People of the state must strive for the best as responsible citizens admit the different issues concerning the state. He stated that positive thinking and cooperation amongst the different sections can only bring about a change in the socio-economic and political aspect of the state. MLA Technopal constituency Korung Thang asserted that opening of welfare centers will not benefit the masses if required equipments and staffs are not provided. He also urged to the doctors and staffs in every centre to work diligently. I coined a good governance with Oxy Hyper Targeti. A pick up people from the Kiras and the Washer Cocktoga. She the public among members in Chiki Health Care Sapi Kandaviro. I think I see the giddy. I guess I should number when never you write anything go to the director or to any officer concerning your department. I'm Targeti. I want to copy a moon town. Oxygen but I have talked with my director, I worry sare, the oxygen is ready for you. But present we should be sincere enough. What talk at port Sama Sama Purakpada sports na mating togadam. Sports ka, health ka, education da di politics togbi ganu. Kari gumba, chokot kong thang ki anything da any development si paikal apakanda lamdam si ki itin nao sing na. Please, support togbi yo. Residents of Tagil Kongban protested against extension of Article 371 Clause A or the sixth schedule of the Indian Constitution in Manipur today. Many women folks in the area took part in a sit-in against the same organized by Joint Committee of Takel Kongban Maning Laikai under the banner of UCM at Macha Ibema Community Hall Takel. An awareness program on confidence building, technical skills and bank linkages for livelihood beneficiaries was held today with an aim to economically empower women from below poverty line families. 
World Vision India Imphal West Area and Nebra Menjor Pukri Mapal Youth Development Association jointly held the program at Nebra Menjor Community Hall today. Taking part in the event, Program Manager of World Vision India Imphal West, Dr. Salemi K. Tarao stated that World Vision India has been taking various initiatives to economically empower underprivileged women by providing trainings on tailoring and weaving as well as looms, embroidery and sewing machines. Salemi also mentioned that financial aids were also given to women interested in opening shops. She asserted that World Vision India aims to enable housewives to carve their livelihoods so that they can contribute financially to their families by working from home. Speaking on the occasion, cooperator of IMC worth number 10, Salam Tikin, loaded World Vision India for its initiatives. He encouraged the beneficiaries to optimize the opportunity provided to them. President of Musu M. Dayaman has declared the 85-day-old Manipur University impasse will be temporarily suspended and the campus will be opened once again. Dayaman intimated that the same to media person at the Motors office today. He said that the agitation was withdrawn following realization of the memorandum signed between university community with representatives of MHRD and the state government on August 16 and also keeping in mind the career life of students. Dayaman appealed to all the students, staffs and teachers of Manipur University to extend support in restoring normalcy in the university. He also urged the government to resolve the ongoing inquiry within the time frame agreed upon and remove VC Pandey without further delay. August ki date 23 hang asi koi university se ki total shutdown do handok se raga hang lagi handok se raga ni adu ka loyna na koi na lokhat chali bhi stay vasi koi Manipur ki tongan tongan ba college singi mahiro singi exam hai dok tad na koi ki mark se pibi yaad na layi ba loyna na Manipur university the layi ba koi ki semester exam sing tobi yaad na layi ba adu ka koi ki result sing hai dok tabu lagi mahiro sing na thang nari ba tongan tongan ba kudong sa do maya masi khala kanda koi ki ashkom loba. Principal in charge of Kapching Kunao College, S.H. Mani Tombi, has refuted the allegation on fund misappropriation charge on him by the College Students' Union. Addressing media person at Manipur Press Club today, Mani Tombi termed the allegation charge upon regarding misappropriation of over 16 lakh rupees as false and unfounded. He said the money was transferred into accounts of all the teachers and staff of the college. Mani Tombi asserted that he has evidence to prove his innocence. Principal in charge of the Ladiba Imunda, what key order Amana, a Marbigi manager, the Paisasi Kaitopa Yahan Biru, Hiduna, order a Malakwadagi, Aina to request the Rubadagi Paisasi Kaitok Seveni. A mounty Lakunta to a lesson contained to his map and Yankai Nitogi, a mount Ama in a Kaitok Seveni. Kaitobasi, I know Uzabanati, Oza Yankai Nito, Masagi account the Tazin Bani, Oza Nataba Nantising is up singing Makoi Pedigi, Park Karaga Kauraga, Makoina Lupa, Lakmanga, listening Nipuga Nipangi, Sempa Mama Makoina Suitoraga, Maru. Principal 
Pangabam Nantoi from Kongpal Ningthobung Lekai has yet again accused Nongmaite Manishwar allies Papu from Kurai, who is in collaboration with Romabadi, wife of CH Rakis from Lamdeng Kuno, have embellished huge amount of money from 16 other individuals. Reportedly, the duo received the 16 individuals and extorted money from them on the pretext of securing a post at Central Agricultural University CAU in Iroisemba. Speaking to media person at Manipur Press Club, Pangabong Nganthoi asserted that reports on newspapers claiming the innocence of Papu is completely baseless. She said since February 8, Papu and Romabati came to collect money from her on various occasions. Nganthoi maintained that she made with the duo on February 3rd when they offered the post of computer operator at CAU. And ever since, she started giving money to Papu and Romabati to secure jobs for her two children. She said it was huge much later she discovered their tragedy. Altogether, the duo has extorted a sum of 45 lakh rupees from 16 different fraud victims. Nganthoi further explained that Papu is not innocent even though majority of the transaction were done with Romabati. She appealed the government and relevant authority to take befitting action against such frauders who will continue to malign the image of the society in the future. ဟိုင်းဘနပါစေစီစဉ်ငါရောင်းမီဒီယာကြီးထုံးတဲ့အင်ပက်တာမှာနှင်းတို့ကြီးပဲတော့ယင်ဖမ်းရောက်တဲ
He drew the attention of the government to give Thayong village due emphasis in empowering the pineapple growers of the village much as in other pineapple growing places of the state. Even a kind of palm with it. Oxide the Tower Supam, the Mudumoki Nam, the Vusiana, a quid Kihomse, Lamsiam Zawe, Tayong Hibisi, Zika Kuna, but Pasina Yam Silakpa, but Panina, Gormena, see Oxide Tabangam, and Daksu and Daksi Nong Sing Patavan in the Yam Paleva, at the Cold Story, Kumba Tambira, the Adum, a quid Hanagi Massi, business owner, Satle, a quid, Kriazer Horak Padona Tawaki Homes, Domakodi Palm Zeva. It's time for small commercial break. After the break, we bring you news on One Day Jalon Yatra Kumhai, organized by Jawaharlal Nehru Manipur Dance Academy. We'll be back with the details after the break. Keep watching Impact News. Welcome back. You're watching Prime Time English News. Jawaharlal Nehru Manipur Dance Academy organized a One Day Jalon Yatra Kumhai at its Mandap today. Addressing the occasion, Chairman of Chorus Repertory Theatre, Imphal and renowned theatre director Ratan Thiam emphasised the need to produce good artists from the state who can contribute in the field of music and dance in the national mainstream. Citing the changing scenario of the state, he lamented that age old traditions and custom have vanished with the advent of new generations. He appreciated JN Manipur Dance Academy for its endeavour in preserving the age-old teachings of late scholars of the state. However, feared that in near future it might be hindered due to various inadequacy and lack of attention from the government. Ratan expressed disappointment that the famous Natsankritan is still not yet been included in the major tradition of music. He calls on the learned citizens of the state to work together in promoting the same. It may be recalled that Jalon Yatra festival originated during the reign of Rajasri Bhagachandra and is related to Natsankritan and religious aspects of the state. The festival is celebrated for 12 days at Sri Sri Govindaji temple while common people celebrated for 5 days. Nupapala and Nupipala were performed on the occasion. <laughs> Ministry of Culture in India, Makuri Culture Policy, the Happy Turbo, Sangit Natak Academy Su Nasidi, Arangba, Adukamna, Hajapa Poto, Put Topa Namsilator Bahai Batai, Zabu is Havali Lata, the big change sector to Makurisi, Society, the Kujiksu, Kesu Makuru, Chobata, the Kubu Namdri, Adumak Nasu, the Kushi. Pantadana, Chintadana Layba, a cricket Kalakar, Makunshi, who is Brian Kali. Yanda Pachana contributed to the Queen Nandre, even Dance Academy, Nabok Nandre. Chairman of Tarao Tribe Union, El More Tarao, pleaded the government to help safeguard Tarao community for extension today. Speaking to media person at Manipur Press Club today, Mori Tarao lamented that the tribe will extend in no time if proper measures aren't taken to safeguard them. He said that the community which can't be found in any other places of the world has been inhabiting the state since time immemorial and now has only 524 tribes remaining in four or five villages. He urged the government to help them construct a shrine of Lydenby Saku Leima in Imphal. He urged the government to declare Goddess Haraibi Sambubi as Goddess of Tarao community. It may be mentioned that UNESCO report of 2009 declared Tarao tribe as one of the endangered community of the world. <laughs> Tarao se ekoi itanda na kanjabu ngam jadre manga dabo tarao jati ase bum atokrama na kanbi sige aduga ekoi bu kanbi kiba ekoi tarao sungkule ma ase bu ekoi ne ningsing na ba magi muti kineng mane ase bu ekoi ngam jadu ba mram na kinau ba ngam dre ase bu huzi ekoi kaksing garden da haray be sambubi lai hari ba ase mag tarao ke dress hera laga mingdi matay ke lai ke mami happy re. Asidusu ekoi na hai jai yara badi tarau sankulai ma hai na hapiu natra gana PSA tarau P inhan ganu hai bu phawa ekoi hai kara bani tarau sankulai ma si ekoi bu kambi dunna lakhi ba adukumba larian bini tarau si le ma si the mulpi yade tarau kandu yade hai bu si meyam na mateng pangbiu hai dunna sarkari mai kai da ayna wahai si thamjeri. 
Manipur joins the world in observing Eid ul Adha, an auspicious festival celebrated by the Muslims today. Men folk of the community visited nearby mosques and offered their prayers, seeking Allah's blessings. As a part of the celebration of members of every household, relatives, friends, including acquaintances of other communities, exchanged gifts and organized a grand feast to mark today. Recreational activities were also organized for the young boys and girls of the community. Muslim inhabitants of Imphal Valley also observe Eid ul Adha at Babupara Mosque today. Speaking in relation to the festival, Imam Shahid M. V. Karim Uddin expressed hope that love, peace and harmony will prosper in the state with the coming of Eid ul Adha. He said, Eid ul Adha has been celebrated since time immemorial to mark the day when Muhammad Ibrahim sacrificed the life of his own son Ismail in order to prove his faith in Allah. He maintained that the people of all communities and the state should unite together against any issue facing the state, irrespective of their differences. Mori town in Technopol district also celebrated Eid ul Adha, where people of different communities feasted together in celebration. Eid ul Adha na lakpada iram damasid leiriba dharma tinna ba tinna daba punna makasa. Nungsi cahana na laymi na ba, amaga amaga yang thina da ba. Di isu kaya gumba la iba pun makasa pun makna theng mi naga. Isu singa sa solt tau ba. Masih masu, aigi makai tegi wana masih thamjaningi. Hai di ba nungsi cahana na tangdu layta na chain sukun rahat kisata pun si lenmi na ba hai ba du ai media gitu ngdu thamjake. Muslims of Thobal district also celebrated Eid ul Adha today. People prayed namaz and later paid ziradat at Kabristan for immortal rest of their beloved. The 12th late KH Itoja Memorial Award distribution function at 2018 was held at the auditorium of Sijo Hospital in Langol today. Speaking in the event organized by Social, Cultural, Education and Sports Development Organization, CSEASDO, Herok Bazaar, DC Impal West, Naurem Praveen called for a proper service delivery system in the state. He opined, lack of proper communication between professionals in various fields and common men leads to unwanted situation. Naurem Praveen, a loaded organizer of the event, Social, Cultural, Education and Sports Development Organization and sponsored Chairman come Managing Director of Sijo Hospitals and Research Institute, Private Limited Dr. K. H. Palin and his family for encouraging the students and the sportspersons of the state. <laughs> Professionals, ma'am, come and keep the person the fuck of the ma'am. Prasai, you don't really like it. Like, you see the service delivered to the front of the communication gave like the key. Misunderstanding, ma'am, for the unfortunate whoever situation, ma'am, can be the mama and the other. Mobile talk to the doctor, 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 Ada kita nak service deliver tau di mana si, minggu anda pasal nak convince tau raga, bagi terkaru itu target tau, atau sabtu ni hit tau, hit tau si masih ada terkaru tau. Speaking at the sidelines, Dr. K. H. Palin said the award is sponsored in his late father's name, Kungdungbam Itocha, in memory of his contribution for the welfare of Hairo constituency. He said his family suffered a great deal after his death, but the struggle gave him inner strength and in Sijo Hospital to reach the status it has today. Dr. Paulin said that the annual award ceremony was organized to encourage talented youths of the constituency. Certificates and cash awards were distributed to meritorious students who excelled in the recent Class 10 and 12 board examination, distinguished sportsperson and MBBA students of Hero constituency on the occasion. Medical Superintendent of Sijar Hospital and Research Institute, Private Limited, Langol, Dr. S. Jugindro and staff of the hospital were among those present in the event. I was a photo of the seat, Masina. I quit that here now. 
A new dealership named Mahinda Truck and Bus under MSNR Motors was inaugurated at Patsoi Lamkai NC Road today. MLA Lamsang and Deputy Chairman of Manipur Pollution Control Board, Salam Razin, inaugurated the showroom. Social Development Organization, SDO, in the press release informed that Hyanglam Police Station has failed to arrest two persons involved in stealing various valuable items from Hyanglam Primary Center on June 2nd. SDO said, despite repeated complaints at the police station, the two accused, namely Maibam Nares and Maibam Roman from Hyanglam Lai Pangalba, who were also involved in a series of theft in the locality, have not been arrested till then. Now the sports news. Manipuri maidens baby Sonia Chanu and Sana Machar Chanu, who represented India, have clinched the gold and silver medals respectively in the ongoing international boxing tournament second junior nation cups held at Serbia from August 15 till August 29. Following news of their victory, Thaubal District Amateur Boxing Association Thaubdaba rejoiced and expressed pride for the Manipuri Eves. Baby Sonia Chanu cleansed the goal after defeating Russian boxer Yuxel in the 52kg category and Sanamacha Chanu grabbed a silver medal in the 75kg category. Singjamai Kendra Kankot B has emerged victorious in the 5th Thongam Sajo Memorial Mix Kendra Wise Lake Kam Nokau Kang tournament held at Kongo Makha Nandai Bamlaikai Imphal East today. In the Group B Lake match played today, Singjamai Kendra Kankot B defeated Thangmaiban Kendra Kankot at 17 14. Altogether, 13 Kankuts subdivided into four groups are competing at the tournament. Singjamai Kendra Kankut A will face against Oinam Kendra Kankut in Group A Lake match tomorrow. And before we wrap up, let's take a look at the headlines once again. Flies awaits beneficiaries under CMHT health scheme as medical supplies cut short abruptly over a week ago. Health Minister Jayant Kumar assured doors of the government are wide open when it comes to supplementing health sector of the state. Manipur University community temporarily suspends education. University resumes tomorrow. Unidentified individual shock death, the president of the United Socialist Revolutionary Army, Sue Signatory Outfit under KNO, London Thang, this morning. And Manipur Muslims celebrate Idul Adha with religious fervor and a gaiety today. 